What's going on guys? This is Eric with just a short tutorial video. Uh, something I just kind of wanted to show you guys and uh, how, how to do uh, this. Now what I'm about to show you isn't really groundbreaking and given the community I'm about to put this to, this might actually come off as a bit um, old or old news. So a program I like to use when I play Doom is called the Z Doom Launcher. It's this, you could select your mods, you could select your IWOD, your source port. It's very user friendly. The issue comes when we use a certain uh, when we use certain mods, such as one that was recently released, and this is called Clusterfuck. Uh, this is just the main one I'm gonna use a uh, an, as an example. So Clusterfuck is a, an amalgamation of all sorts of different mods. In fact, there's over 17 that you have to individually load into Z Doom Launcher. And the issue with that is, is you can't just drag and drop. Also, you have to worry about the order in which these files are put in. So this comes uh, as a t as someone who plays a lot of different mods all the time and a lot of uh, just different ways of experimenting with the game. I decided to look into maybe creating a batch file. Uh, this is kind of like a command you tell your computer, "Hey, I need you to perform this task in this way every single time," and then just load the files individually. Turns out that wasn't the best option, but I came up with an alternative, and it was just doing uh, searching online through the Doom wikis that. There's actually a process called auto loading that comes in most of the Z Doom based source ports. And I'm pretty sure most source ports have it. I'm just not sure I haven't fully tested this. So my overall goal was was to make pretty much clusterfuck.exe. And so to do this, we would actually have to stop using Z Doom Launcher. So a common question I see people ask is, well, how do I load a mod? How do I load a wad into a source port? Uh, and typically the answer is make sure the main Doom game is in the directory as the source port and then drag and drop, which works to an extent, except when you have 17 files that need to load in a certain order. And if they don't load in a certain order, believe me, I know this, uh, the game will just straight up not work. However, let me show you something. This is clusterfuck.exe, a shortcut to it. Uh, let's just go there and open the file location. And you will see that I did, what I did was is I have the, the clusterfuck directory here and then I copied and pasted my Zandronum directory over here, put a basic doom2.wad shortcut in. And then, from there, I actually found this file. We'll get to here in a second. I just want to prove that this works. When you do it this method, it's the user interface is going to be a little different. As you can see, you don't have the clusterfuck uh, screen anymore. You don't, it, it loads as if it's doomed to hell on earth. And for whatever reason. Hmm. There it is. And as you can see, I actually have it loaded. Now, typically, Okay, I think, well, let's just go ahead and keep it windowed right now. Uh, something else that happens is every once in a while, I run three monitors. So every once in a while, uh, the game will load up on a different monitor. That's what we're experiencing right now. And I'd rather just not edit it because in the event that one of you guys can actually help me as to why it keeps doing that. Because right now what I'm using is full screenerizer. So... Anyway, that's not really the point of the video. What you're seeing is, is Doom Clusterfuck. And you ha and now I have the right menu options. And this is Clusterfuck. The, uh, if I go into here, it's like I have my two pistols. 
I have my chainsaw. And as you can see, it's working correctly. So, what exactly did I do? What exactly was the difference here? Well, let me show you. So, let's go back here. As you can see, I have my own little directory for anything and all things Doom. I also have it on a separate hard drive. Yours might be here, uh, it might be in the program files, it might be, you might do the same thing I do, is create its own directory. I highly suggest you do this. Like, it's just as simple as right click and new folder and then put all of your Doom files in there. Uh, if you look at my Doom folder, you will see that anything with like multiple different files gets its own subfolder. And yeah, I accidentally threw that in there because I thought... Uh, these guys uh, zipped into their own folder, which they didn't, but I kind of fixed that. Uh, and what we're going, what I did was, is I copied this Xandronum directory here into where I kept Clusterfuck. And where that is, is going to be under my Wads and Mods, which, yes, I, I am a very big stickler as to organization. And that's going to be just normal complex doom, but this is clusterfuck complex doom. And here is everything that makes up clusterfuck. And this is the readme file. And then what I did was is just pasted the Xandronum directory here. And then I have this file. What we're going to do is right click this file and hit edit. Next, we are going to have you're going to have to have this readme visible so that you can see the boot order and you're pretty much just going to go down the list and well in the INI you're then going to search for doom.autoload now you can put this in the other different games that are based on the doom engine or ID tech one however this there's an there's an interesting rule that this particular source port has and that is this right here it actually tells you how to do auto loading in the INI file to begin with and anything loaded under doom dot auto load will load for any of the other doom games but if I put something in another doom mod like if I put this under doom 2 dot auto load then this will only load for Doom 2. We don't want that. We want to use different map packs and different, uh, you know, different situations. So we want to keep it like this. And this will tell Z uh, Zandronum to load these wads, these mods, in this order, in this way, to load complex clusterfuck. And how we're going to get these path file, these pathways, uh, it, it's kind of tedious. So what we're going to do here is go down to the search menu and we're going to type CMD, I'm sorry, no, RUN, and you're going to have this. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up our file explorer here. And as you can see, all I have to do is go to complex, where the folder directory where I have it. And I could just choose a file here and drag and drop into run. And it will give you an entire pathway based on that particular file. And you can just copy and paste that with the with the command path equals. And then you could just copy and paste. So, for example, in Zandro, uh, in Clusterfuck, if you want to do your own map pack, uh, you'll have to go and do that and put that after Duskins. So what we're going to do, just to show you that this works, is we're going to go to Duskins and we're going to type in path equals 
There we go. Then we're going to go back to our folder explorer and we're going to go to our wad mod directory. This would be different for everybody. And actually, you know what? Let's go to. I actually have a separate directory for just map packs. And let's do uh, doom64.wad. And that's doom64 for doom2. And I'm just going to drag and drop. Well, I'm going to delete everything here. And then we're going to drag doom. 64.wad over here and all I did there was just control X that's cut instead of copy and we're going to look for my path and there you go I now have the wad here now in this area you can also put in other wads so I'm just gonna check here and yeah it's just giving me the bars so but I do need the dot deh file so we're gonna just copy paste there's the file location again and then we're gonna just type in the word path equals and there we go and then simply control save Close the INI file. I'm going to minimize this and let's start a clusterfuck. Now, if you do this through Zandro, uh, if you do this through ZDL, it's going to, it actually has a custom launcher. And there you go, it works. And it's Clusterfuck in all of its glory. Anyway. So yeah, this is how you this is an alternative way other than using ZDL or dragging and dropping when you have something a little bit more complex, something a little bit more uh, in depth to use with uh, the Doom engines and this is true for Z Doom and GZ Doom if you go into their directories there is a GZ Doom hyphen your username dot INI for me that's gonna be VTAMnet but again that's different for everyone uh, so that's pretty much it now if you still like using ZDL that's fine just note that you know you do have the little arrows here that you can move the files up and down personally when you're loading 17 different files at a time that's going to be a little complicated and it gets a little messy this way it's actually like a separate game now a separate program altogether pretty much what I've did is I've just separated my clusterfuck mod from everything else so that I could so that when I do want to play clusterfuck I just have a single icon I can click on and just jump into the game without having to worry about the boot order every single time. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Uh, you can also leave a comment in the in below. You have a wonderful day.